A study out today suggests millions more Americans may be at risk of stroke. It's well known that a risk factor is high blood pressure. Now researchers say that includes pressure that is only slightly above normal. We asked Dr. John LaPook to explain what it means. Dr. Michael Ruddy says the message has changed for patients with slightly high blood pressure. Up to about eight or ten years ago, most physicians would say, well, that's perfectly normal. We don't even need to think about it. Doctors are thinking about it now. Even mild hypertension can be very dangerous. Normal blood pressure is under 120 over 80. High blood pressure is 140 over 90 or more. Everything in between is pre-hypertension. The review of more than 500,000 patients found people with a top number of 130 to 139 or a bottom number of 85 to 89 had an almost 80 percent increased risk of stroke. About 30 million Americans fall into that category. Prehypertension predicts later hypertension in your life as you get older. And I'm sure that's still true. But now we know from this analysis that if you have prehypertension, you are at risk for stroke right now. It's not a future risk, it's a present risk. It's a risk 53-year-old Vilma Rosado is taking seriously. Her blood pressure today was mildly elevated at 135 over 88, and she's determined to get it down through lifestyle changes. To have the perfect number, you know, the, the correct number that blood pressure should be, that's, that's my goal. The take-home message for doctors is we need to be much more attuned to this problem of uh, prehypertension to more clearly identify it and communicate this more strongly to our patients. High blood pressure is one of several risk factors for stroke. Others include smoking, high cholesterol, and diabetes. It's important to try to lower all these risks. But John, for these people who have a slightly elevated blood pressure, what should they do about this? Well, they shouldn't panic. I spoke to the study author today. He said the risk of them getting a stroke within the first year of being diagnosed with prehypertension is very low. But it's reason to aggressively lower all the risk factors for high blood pressure. That means exercising, getting to the right weight, cutting back on salt, cutting back on alcohol if you're drinking too much, and eating lots of fruits and vegetables. Things our mothers could have told us, right, Scott? Thanks, John.